603 miles of gruelling offshore racing. 356 yachts, the biggest fleet in the 90-year history of this classic biennial race. 4,000 sailors, professional and Corinthian, representing 25 nations from as far afield as Russia, the United States and China, all ready to pit themselves against one of the greatest challenges in the sport, the 2015 edition of the Rolex Fastnet race. It's a fantastic script. The only one thing missing, the wind. For a race famed for its ferocious wind conditions, this was an unexpected challenge for the international fleet, which had gathered in cows on the Isle of Wight today. As the yachts lined up for the first of seven class starts, the usually lightning-fast multi-hulls struggled to get over the line in the non-existent breeze. The small yacht class has also faced the same challenge. But by the time the start for the biggest monohull yachts came around, the breeze had filled in and finally provided some more dramatic start line action. Challenging from the USA, Jim Clark's 100-foot Comanche and the new 88-foot Rambler. Both will be trying to beat Mike Slade's British yacht Leopard to the finish and make it a Stars and Stripes line honours victory whilst at the same time hoping, like everyone else, to be in contention for the overall race title. However, the light wind conditions look likely to favour the smaller boats in the race, thanks to the IRC handicap system, but there's still a long way to go. The fleet now faces a course which will take them along the south coast of England and out across the Celtic Sea. From here, they'll round the legendary Fastnet Rock off the coast of Ireland and turn for the finish line in Plymouth. The first boat is not expected home before Tuesday. Stay tuned for more daily bulletins as this classic race unfolds.